Welcome to the One Star Weak Foot Show, your one stop shop for player reviews, starring your host, One Star Weak Foot, and our review specialist, One Star Weak Foot. Good evening, beautiful people, and welcome to the One Star Weak Foot Show, your one stop shop for player reviews. I'm going to be your host today, One Star Weak Foot, and it makes me feel Amazing to see you back on the channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. So, as you guys know, we will be talking about a player. An insane player. Perhaps the best player in FIFA, but the player has a backstory, all right? I am on Raul's account. Um, as you guys know, well, maybe not everybody knows, but he does most of the thumbnails on this account. Um, he does a great job, by the way. He's even done the background. And now he has done the unthinkable and packed Red Ronaldo from Gold 2. So me and him had gold two this week. I packed Ilicic, I packed Manolis, and he packed Ronaldo, you know? It is what it is, I'm happy for him, and I'm happy at the opportunity to try this card. I mean, looking at Raul's team, I mean, you'll see his red pick um, luck has been pretty good. He got Mbappe earlier in the year. I believe this was a gold two as well, and as you guys see here, he's gotten almost a thousand games in with him. The stats are terrific. Um, he also got Red Rashford, who he hasn't really told me much about. 11 games, I guess he's not a fan of him. In my opinion, that's a really good red pick right there. And we also got 99 Cristiano CR7, the GOAT, on the screen, which is insane, all right? He's six foot two. He has high, low work rates. He's right footed with the five star skill moves and four star weak foot. I got to play four games in rivals with him and I got three goals and zero assists. I know the return doesn't look too crazy. It doesn't look too insane considering the kind of card he is, but you have to consider rivals is very sweaty and people were double and triple marking him. Every time he got the ball, it's like they knew I was trying to try him out. They were really covering him, but um, yeah, before we go any further, if you're enjoying the content, if you want more content like this, do me a favor, hit the like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. I appreciate all you guys at home for watching this video. So, as you guys know, um, we will be looking at the stats a little bit closer. He has 98 pace, and if you've ever used Cristiano Ronaldo, he's not in form. You know that his pace is good, but not that great. This pace upgrade is definitely, definitely necessary. Um, his shooting stats are maxed out. <laughs> enough said his passing stats are very nice as well his dribbling is another part of Ronaldo that has made him less meta this year every year Ronaldo is probably one of the most meta cards in the game and this year it took a little bit of a downfall um and it's because of the fact that people value agility and balance so much on this card he has maxed out dribbling stats aside from the balance um which is 78 which is not that great but um, we did throw an engine camp style on him to help that out. His physical stats, as you guys know, are going to be insane. 94 strength, 99 stamina, 99 jumping. He wins every single header. So, without further ado, I'm going to take you over to our review specialist in the studios. One Star Weekly. Take it away. Thanks, One Star. So, according to Footbin, you got to sell your whole family. You got to sell your whole family heirlooms, everything. This guy's selling for 6 million coins on the PS4 market. <laughs> Good luck with that. Is he worth it? I would have to say there's no card on this game not, you know, like quite worth 6 million. But is he one of the best players on this game? I have to say absolutely. We're going to break down the stats so you know exactly what to expect at home. So first we're going to talk about his pace. He has 98 pace and he's rapid. He beats the defensive line with ease. And once he's in behind with his 99 sprint speed, he's gone. Sayonara. Say goodbye. You are not catching them. And if by any chance you do catch him, this man got 94 strength. So you're not going to get him off the ball either way. He has 96 acceleration, which means out of skill moves, he accelerates very nicely. But one thing to add is that he has specific animations. He has his own special custom animation. So he takes long strides coming out of skill moves and that helps him accelerate out of skill moves even more efficiently. Overall, this guy's pace is a 10 out of 10. Next, we're going to talk about this guy's shooting and Yo, I mean, this guy has a broken, cracked shot. He has 99 in attack position, finishing, shot power. Long shots are 98. So, but, but for argument's sake, let's say they're 99. Um, this guy has maxed out shooting stats and in-game. He definitely feels like this. Um, he all, also has the outside the foot shot trait. So if you're able to get that um, trait to kick in, I mean, that shot's going to hit the back of the net. Either way, this guy can shoot either foot. I mean, his four-star weak foot feels more like a five-star weak foot. And his attack positioning is brilliant. I mean, the way he makes runs. He, he just feels like a car that's always, always hungry to shoot. Very similar to real life. Because he has the high-low work rates. He doesn't really drift backwards. He's always on the last man. Always looking for a, a, a chance to sniff out. Always there to poach the goal. And overall, I have to say,
say this guy's shot is the 10 out of 10. If you want somebody that's gonna win you games with his shooting alone, this Ronaldo card's it. Next we're gonna talk about his passing and this is one aspect of his card I really enjoyed. He has 92 vision, 93 short passing, 90 curve. So in and around the box, this guy is a playmaker and you're gonna need it because when opponents see this card on your team, they're gonna mark him, they're gonna double mark him. They're gonna pay all their attention to him and he does have the ability to, to punish his opponents for that by bringing other players into the game with his dribbling, with his passing. He also has really nice long passing at 86. So overall his passing is a nine out of 10. Next, we're gonna talk about this guy's dribbling, and this is the one question you guys might have in regards to this card. Is he gonna feel clunky? I would say no, this guy does not feel clunky at all. It actually blows my mind that a six foot two card can feel this smooth on the ball. I mean, it's, it's a combination of the five star skills, the custom animations, it's just the fact that his, his stats are juiced beyond belief. I mean, he's, he has maxed out dribbling stats aside from agility and balance. I don't really notice his balance being an, a big issue at all. I mean, even when he's off balance, he can still execute his shots and passing at a high ability. And he doesn't really fall over very much as much as you would expect with somebody um, that has some the uh, balance his custom animations does really help him when it comes to dribbling and he does have a very nice ball control very nice acceleration coming out of skill moves and overall this guy's dribbling is a 9.5 out of 10. um honestly i have no complaints Finally, we will be talking about this physical, and this is one aspect of the card I think it's underappreciated, all right? I know headers are dead, but if he can get a header off with this card, he's gonna hit the back of the net, and he brings headers from corners back. I mean, I was whipping balls into him. He didn't score, but he was always winning the header over players like Ramos, um, over players like Van Dyke. It was truly a sight to behold. His strength at 94, his aggression at 75, along with his big body type means that he wins every single 50-50. I mean, he has that sticky, and even if he loses the the ball he's gonna get that ball back for second and third chances it's really really crazy he has 94 strength and really good jumping and it's really an asset to have if you're trying to keep possession if you're trying to hit hit your opponent with a quick counter all you have to do is lob him the ball he wins the header every single time and his flick ons are very accurate overall this guy's physical is a 9.5 out of 10 all right guys so what's the final verdict on this card i mean obviously this card is an amazing card but how good is he in my opinion he has to be top five or top three strikers on this game i mean he has one of the best shots i've used in fifa ever his pace is insane his passing is really good and he now has the dribbling to really be a meta card that being said um the only thing i would say about him is that he's very expensive i mean no matter what you do if you bring in a six million coin card he will probably fall short of expectations because six million coins is just a lot of coins and proportionally you're not going to get um the value for your your money the higher you go up but if you want the best player on the game, if you want one of the best strikers on the game, I think you should definitely give this guy a spin. I don't think it's a bad value at all. And overall, this guy has to be 9.75 out of 10. He has the total package. He has the physical. He has the clinical shot. I mean, I could go on and on about this car. All right, guys. So that's going to be my Ronaldo review. Hopefully you guys at home enjoyed it or found it helpful. Once again, don't forget to like and subscribe. Big ups to Raul for letting us onto his account. I'll see you guys on the next episode, but until then, do